everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how I do another floral design painted on this green glass wine bottle I am going to be using a dotting a dotting stylus I talk backwards here a number eight and a number ten filbert brush these are a magic paint brushes I do include the affiliate links down below if you'd like to purchase via those. And then I'm using two Imagic flat brushes. That would be a number 12 and a number four. And then I'm gonna be using a number eight Deerfoot stippler. The paint I'm using today is all folk art paint, a mixture of enamels and multi-surface using Engine Red, Evergreen, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, and this is a new one. It's called Cherry Frost, Thicket, Yellow Ochre, and Wicker White. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, I'm going to be using the number 10 uh, Filbert brush. And I'm just going to, at this point, just cover it with the engine red. Come in here. No, this bottle's already been cleaned off. This is my bottle that I use when I'm just going to uh, do a design for the purpose of doing a video. So I will be wiping this design off just so that you know. So basically with this stroke, I'm just taking the filbert brush and just pulling it straight back, straight back and pulling up. So it's nothing, nothing too difficult. It's just some basic pull it there, not even turning the brush. Just pulling it and lifting up, pulling it and lifting up. So when you do this, you can make some of your petals longer. You can vary them, pulling them towards the center. Give them some movement, just put a little bit of an angle to them, however you want to do it. And lift up. And then come back down, do it again. So like I said, on this design I'm not turning my brush at all because a lot of times I will turn it and come in you know, to the center using the side part of the brush. But on this, I'm just pulling it to the center. So this is an awesome design for a newbie because it's just simple strokes. Just push your brush down, pull back. Push your brush down and pull back. You can do, again, do some longer ones. Give it some movement towards the center because you want kind of a big center but you don't want it to be too big. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is because I don't have a whole lot of space here but I'm going to dip my brush and I'm not even cleaning it off and I'm putting it into the new paint meaning that's the new color it's cherry frost and white and then I'm going to go back over my design that I've already painted. Now when you're painting your design, if you feel like you're pulling up too much of the color, you know, when you paint over this, it's not going to be as opaque as you want it to be, then just go back over it again. Perfectly fine. Now if you like just the red, you can go with that. You might need to go back over it again just to cover, you know, give it better coverage, but that's fine. I just wanted it to be able to sh show up a little bit better on the green and it be a little bit thicker with the paint that I'm using. If you feel like your paintbrush is getting too full of paint, you know, feel free to wipe it off. I just do that on a paper towel. Just 
just keep going back over it. Then you can just see how simple this is, really. If you're new to my channel, just know that the point of my channel is to provide you with very easy designs. That is truly my intention. I want newbies to be able to paint them because I know in today's world a lot of us are looking for things that can lead to more of a stress-free or help with stress. I feel like being creative is something that can help with that. Now again, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, well, you know, some of it's not thick enough, you can go back over it again. Now what I need to do on these right here is take my dare foot stippler and I'm just going to pounce it into the shallow, which is the school bus shallow. I've got a little bit of green in here because I use it with my, uh, what I use it with? I use it with my leaves. So I'm just going to tap in a center. If you don't want any of the red to come through or the pink or whatnot, then you might want to hit it with a heat gun just to give it some dry time. All right, so then I'm going to come back through here. And I can even do this with some of the red, but I'm going to come back down. In between these strokes, you might want to wipe off the yellow. And you can either just do another stroke to the side or you can come down like this. And I'm obviously choosing to come down like that. I'm going to come over here, do the same thing. I'm going to pull it towards the side here, from the side to the center. And again, from the side to the center. And then down, side to the center. Fill in this in a little bit. And then coming down. Just giving a little extra fill in here, but I don't have to or I can, either either way. All right, again, you can take a look at it, but I am not too concerned about the coverage right now because I'm actually just gonna wipe this back off. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the centers while I've got the this brush with some stuff in it. I am actually putting a little bit of the school bus yellow and some of the burnt umber into the center. And I can even actually use, a little, or the burnt sienna, I'm sorry. I can use a little bit of that. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I didn't really use the burnt umber in this design. I was playing around with it and was going to initially use it. Although, I might, in order to cover up some of this red, And I'm just going to tap around. And if too much of the reddish is coming through when you're doing this because it's wet on wet, just hit it with a heat gun or a hair dryer or give it about an hour dry time and you should be good to go. And you just can fuss with your centers until you get them to look the way you want them. And like I said, you can use a little bit of the, the burnt umber to kind of fill in a little bit to cover up some of the red. Up to you. And then just go over to, over the painted edges and fill it in. I 
And I just try to make them as rounded as I can. You don't always have to have a round center either. You could actually do it as a moon shape. I'm going to add a little bit darker. Like that. Again, you can, you know, bust with your centers as much as you want. Just keep coming back over them if you want, but I, I like them just like that. Then what I do is I, I'm going to take my little uh, stylus here, dip them into the yellow, and then I'm just going to put a few dots. Just find an area of the, uh, the center where you want to stick a few dots. Not even doing all the way around the bottom. I just thought this would just give it a little bit of a different look without doing it all the way around the bottom. And then I turn it and stick it into the white and come back in just to make it stand out a little bit more. Or you can do all the way around the bottom or all the way around the whole center. That's up to you. And I'm just trying to make it look a little random. All right, now on, up here, I didn't put any brown because of these leaves coming up or these petals coming up a little bit into the center. You could if you wanted to add some more interest and in do some dots around the top of that, which I'm not going to do right now. Just, just a suggestion though. And now what I'm gonna do is dip my one edge of my brush into the thicket, one into the evergreen, and then do the blending strokes, stick part of it into the school bus yellow. If I feel like it's not giving me enough uh, coverage, adding white always helps. Or you can just use the two greens, it doesn't matter. But I like to, I like to add more to my leaf colors whenever possible. And right here I'm just going to do some quick little pulls. I'm not going to put a stem, a main stem on the bottom. Uh, I think I'm just going to basically do um, some leaves around the bottom. Okay, so with this one what I'm doing is just some basic my wiggly leaves. Now I, you can do it where you do big swipes like that. And I'm going to turn it, trying not to hit the paper, but I'm going to turn it and come down here and do them um, coming back down to the tip. And then I'm going to put a stem on it, kind of like that. All right, pretty easy. I like my leaves. I like doing leaves. I'm not sure why I like them so much, but I do. All right, so then I'm gonna just put a couple up here and I can do my little V, come in here. I'm gonna point it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn it around again, because on these I'm gonna just Turn it and go back down the side instead of going down and then coming back from the tip back. And here we go, like that. Again, very simple. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to pull just a little stem out from here. Maybe pull another one out over this direction. There'll be a few more, but you'll see. You will see what I do. All right, so I'm gonna continue on doing a few more of these leaves around the bottle. 
but they're not going to be the only style that I do. So I'm just making big swoops. Pretty easy. If you have any questions when you're watching this video, please put them down below. I'd love to hear from you. Any suggestions or uh, items that you'd like to see me paint in the future, I'm always willing to try the best I can. If it's something I'm not used to or if it is, either way. I'm going to come down here. I just turn these the wrong way. All right, let's see here. I'm going to do one more. Just have them. why it feels like it's separated a little bit there. Bring it up and then bring your stem down. Okay. Now I'm just going to do a couple more of these then we'll move on from that. Now let's do one up in here. See, this is the kind of leaf where, as I said, I was trying, or I wasn't going to do, but I went, decided to go ahead and do one up here. And you actually can do it this way too. And you can always turn it. Even if you go up one side, you can always turn it and go down on the opposite side. Like that. So that's pretty, right? Let's do one more. I blend that a little bit better. Let's do one more. And actually I can have it, your leaves don't always have to go all the same direction. You can turn them and have them going you know, different up down all around kind of the deal like that now I'm going to grab a hold of my filbert brush and basically on this one I'm going to come in with this first and do I probably need to add some more but do the thicket I'm going to fill my filbert brush up with the thicket and then I'm going to do, I have to be careful here, but I'm going to do these kind of pulls with my brush. So I'm using the smaller filbert and I can come out and do some wider or smaller strokes. Just depends on how you press down on the brush as to what kind of stroke you get. Or if you turn it to the side a little bit, that can make it a little bit smaller too. So in doing this, I'm then going to come back over with my uh, evergreen. Fill these in. Just to give them a little bit more thickness. Fill them in. Go like that. Like this. Like that. Pretty easy, right? Then I'm just going to stick my brush a little bit into the yellow and do the same thing. Come back here. You have to be careful though because you're, you can start lifting the paint 
when you over when you overwork it or go over it too many times so that's the only problem so you could double load some of these brushes or just make sure that you're lightly hitting it so it doesn't pull the paint up this way it shows up better and then by by adding the paint colors like we're doing that will give more durability to your design because you're actually layering it and it looks like I got some green on my on my paper so I gotta be careful here okay so what I mean by that is and I'm gonna try to hold it like this with the neck of the bottle okay I'm gonna come through this time with this thicket come through a thicket and just keep going like I did the first time and I can overlap part of my design which is fine and go like that now instead of doing three you know two more two more I just went ahead and added the yellow and the evergreen to my brush so I'm only going over it one more time and not two more. If that makes sense, hopefully it does. You still have to watch because right there it started to pull up. But that's the funny thing about glass, it does that. But like I said, you learn. You learn as you're doing it. Not a big deal. Okay, so I have two spots that I did that on. Now, like say right in here, I could add some of this, but I'm not going to. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this brush, which is the number four flat brush, and I'm going to stick it into my yellow ochre. Now, with this, I could add some white to it to make it more uh, opaque because this color can be you know, can be kind of thin on the glass and then when you do this you know again you're going to be adding just some more branches like this is where I'm going to put it might even come through here because I have that spot I don't have to add any even even amount but or an odd amount it's really up to you but by doing this and then I'll just come through here with and I am going to be touching it into the white. And that's just because I'm doing it on glass. If I were doing it on paper, I wouldn't be so concerned because then it, it really, it wouldn't be uh, so thin. And then you can do little stems, just little swift little pulls. You know, if you think that like this little branch here is too thin, just go back over it. I'm going to do it, do this over here. And see when you're painting on top of other paint, then it's a little bit thicker because you're, you're painting on top of something already down. Once again, I have to be careful here though because I have that painted area already. I don't want to pull up my paint. But it's kind of fun just to add some color, you know, some interest to it by adding different colored leaves. And you could, I make sure this, get this better, you could actually add some different flowers to this as opposed to adding the leaves but I'm not really like some of this one I'm just going to focus on the leaves just do your basic this quick quick leaves coming out from the stem again anytime you don't get the right consistency when you're painting just feel free to go back over it just be careful when you're doing that so that you don't pull the paint up. That's all I recommend. And go like this. And again, you can go back over your stem. You could even do this with brown. 
if you want to have the stem be brown like you know like a tree stem kind of deal would be and then just do light little pulls into the leaves your little veins your little way of attaching them but then there, there you have it easy peasy and very pretty all right i hope you like this if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel please make sure that you subscribe hit that notification bell and prior to leaving if you would hit the share button that you'll find underneath this video and share it on your social network with all your family and friends i would greatly appreciate it all right well until the next time please stay safe and healthy and thanks again for stopping by until the next time, you have a good one.